the Canadian Cancer Society estimates that one in eight Canadian women will develop breast cancer. Breast cancer is clearly a health concern, but what are we doing about it? Well, if a patient is known to have cancer, then we can deliver treatment. But in order to deliver the treatment, we first need to detect the cancer. Today, the standard method for breast cancer detection is X-ray mammography. But the benefits of mammography have been questioned, due in part to its use of ionizing radiation, which can actually cause the development of cancer. This is where microwave imaging comes in. Microwave imaging uses microwaves, like those found in your microwave oven at home, but much, much lower in power. Lower in power even than the signals used by your cell phone. This approach also has a big advantage. It uses non-ionizing radiation instead of the potentially cancer-causing ionizing radiation found in mammography. Because of this benefit, researchers have been quick to build systems that can scan patients with the goal of using these for breast cancer screening. But before the systems are ready for deployment to hospitals, there are still some remaining challenges. One of these challenges is actually how we go about detecting the presence of a tumor. Tumor detection can be done using an image that we make of the breast. But today, the techniques for how we make images either neglect the physics of microwave imaging, relying on radar models and resulting in simple crude images, or they try to model all of the physics, requiring up to days of processing time to produce an image, and have only seen wide success in simulation studies. This is the focus of my research. Half of my work has looked at the development of a new technique for how we make an image. Unlike the current approaches, which model either all or none of the physics of microwave imaging, our new approach lets us pick and choose the individual physics components that we think are the most important for producing a good image and only modeling those. What we've seen is that by using this approach, we're able to more consistently detect the presence of a tumor in the images that we make. The other half of my research has looked at the application of artificial intelligence methods for automatic tumor detection. Instead of detecting the tumor in an image, these techniques let us detect the tumor directly in the measured electromagnetic data. While image-based tumor detection techniques let us interpret the tumor response in the context of the image of the whole breast, this requires a trained operator to physically examine the image and subjectively perform a diagnosis. AI methods, on the other hand, allow for automatic, objective tumor detection, and they don't require a trained operator. The results that we've obtained with these novel AI-based techniques indicate that they outperform even the best image-based tumor detection techniques today. Breast microwave imaging is on the verge of becoming a revolutionary medical imaging technology. Researchers have built sophisticated systems that can scan patients, but the techniques for how we detect the tumor still require improvement, and that's where my research comes in. While this work is only one step among many on a path to a viable new breast cancer screening tool, we hope that it will help to push microimaging from the laboratory to the hospital. Thank you very much.